What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new Hybrid Network video, this time coming at you with a potentially pretty big update on Tom Hardy's upcoming Venom solo movie. Today, we might have gotten our best look yet at one of Tom Hardy's looks in the movie, thanks to an Instagram dump by TomHardy.org, an unofficial fan page dedicated to the movie star, as the name would suggest. And the image on screen now, he appears to be on set and smoking, which is obscuring his face. However, we can see the very topmost parts of his upper body and what he's wearing, revealing a pretty surprising get up for Hardy in the movie. In previous shots, we've seen Hardy wearing very casual clothes like sweatshirts and t-shirts, often with jeans and boots, but in this image, he's definitely tactical, wearing either body armor or a similar harness with a black shirt underneath. Interestingly, it looks like the image is now also Hardy's profile picture on Instagram, the official Hardy account that is, so it is definitely an image of the star himself, continuing a long tradition of the actor sharing really cool behind-the-scenes looks from a production that has otherwise been kept locked up tight. This fuels some recent speculation that Hardy's character will be military or ex-military, having a, a background in the service like Flash Thompson's Agent Venom version of the character. The only problem with that theory is that Hardy is officially playing Eddie Brock, not Flash. While Flash was ex-military in the comics, Brock was a former reporter, down and out after being fired for falsely accusing the wrong man of being the villain known as Sin Eater. However, you know, there's always a chance that this adaptation is going to combine aspects of both characters into one for this movie, especially considering the fact that both are pretty equally popular, they're, they're both easily the two most popular characters to have ever been Venom. Don't worry though, this probably doesn't mean we'll be seeing the armored up Agent Venom version of the character in the movie rather than the hulking symbiotic beast that I think most fans were expecting. I say that with some confidence because previously it's been confirmed by Andy Serkis, of all people, that Tom Hardy's performance as the symbiotic beast would be via motion capture, suggesting that Venom would be brought to life with CGI, or at least mostly CGI. Seeing as how Hardy isn't wearing a mocap suit in this scene, this likely takes place before he receives the symbiote, either as a flashback to military service, or maybe even potentially the way he discovers the symbiote in the first place. Additionally, I mean, if you need more evidence, Hardy's personal trainers themselves confirmed that a now deleted video that the on-again, off-again anti-hero would be over eight feet tall, certainly more consistent with the traditional version of the character than Agent Venom. Regardless, let us know what you think in the comments section down below. Are you cool if they blend aspects of the two most famous Venom hosts, and which version would you rather see? That's gonna do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw, subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. For even more content, check out our website at hybridnetworkyt.com, and if you love HN and want to take your support to the next level, consider donating to us on Patreon as we strive to bring you the best content possible. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.